Now, recently, there's this new service called Deep Nostalgia from My Heritage. And basically, the premise is you take a picture of a loved one. From what I understand, it's only free for the first couple of video animations that you use. And the people really don't want to sign up. They probably don't feel comfortable, you know, giving these images to services like this. So they'd use things, they'd use environments, you know, uh, that are more controlled. So in your video editor, you want to make sure that the video you're going to copy the movements from that that video exists in a 256 by 256 aspect ratio. Now, before we even do that, when you go to render that video, right, there are some things you have to keep in mind. It, please look at the screen if you're not looking at it because some people miss this part. So I'm going to tell you to look at the screen if you're not looking at it. You want to make sure the frame rate of your video is less than 30. If not, it's going to make the, the whole Google Colab process um, run slower. You also want to make sure that your width is 256 and your height is 256. And this is the important part because it works with some videos if you don't do this step, um, but other videos it won't work. So if you just want a thing that you don't have to worry about, that it will pretty much work all the time, make the constant bitrate about 2 million or less than 2 million. Okay, like make it that. Uh, 2 million BPS. If you can't do this, put it into some online converter and, you know, it should do it for you. But make the constant bitrate 2 million. Please follow these steps, pause it, and do it exactly as I'm doing. So I have some links in the description. At this point in time in the video, I want you to go to the description and download these links. It's from my archive.org account. You're going to want to download this part over here the tar files it should be vox-adv-cpk.pth please download these two files now when you download these files you're going to want to come to your google drive account now in your google drive account under your my drive make a folder you know right click new folder whatever make a folder please look at the screen name it first hyphen like the dash mark on your keyboard order dash motion dash model this is to reiterate for the people that couldn't follow the steps. You have to make it exactly like this. If you don't, it won't work. So pause the video and look at the screen and just copy this word for word verbatim. Now, once you're in here, please ignore these videos real quick. But I want you to drag and drop those two files that you downloaded from my archive.org um, account. These two files right here, the vox adv cpkph When you click it, there should be two files from that. I want you to download those, right? and put them in your Google Drive. Put them under the first dash order dash motion dash model folder. Now, it's going to get a bit easier. I want you to find your photo of your loved one or whoever. For this particular project, we're going to be using Truman, uh, President Truman. And you want to crop their faces out into a 256 by 256 aspect ratio. Make sure their faces are in the center. That's what I did, and I've already put it into this folder. You can do this in paint. Just try to center their face by doing an appropriate crop. Now. Like I said before, if you want videos to work, you have to have them in such a way that their frame rate is less than 30, that their bit rate is 2 million or less, and that the width and height, the width and height rather, sorry, of the videos are 256 by 256. Now, it doesn't matter. You can use a woman's facial expression, expressions or a man's facial expressions. It's pretty much gender neutral. Um, and I'm going to explain why. All it's doing is just copying the movements of the face it's not going to copy like artifacts like lipstick and stuff like that over to your loved one's face. Maybe download either of these video sets. You know, you can do that if you wanted to. Download these if you want. And an image of your loved one uh, that has a .png, a .png extension. So now that we've done that, we're going to go to first order motion model Google Colab, which is the link in the description. So just go to it. Okay, so now that we've opened the Google Colab link, what we're going to do is run these boxes. So when you first get on Google Colab, um, although it already shows for me, in this particular area, it will say like something like allocate or connect. Click it, click whatever it says here, 
and it will show like RAM and disk afterwards. If you don't do that, then you can't run these programs um, at all. So just do that. Um, first step, run the first box. It'll give you this little warning thing. Um, don't worry, it's safe. Run it anyway. And it's creating a repository on your Google Drive. Um, then you're going to run the second box. Um, as you can see, like it, it happened really quickly. You won't see this, right? Because on your end, it'll show like a little link in this box. You just click the link. It'll open a new tab, and you copy like the little code there, and you paste it into this box. It'll have like the paste here type section. Um, you'll see it. Once you've done that, once you've copied whatever link comes from here, and you go to that link and you copy its password and you paste it into this box, once you do that, you move on to mounting your Google Drive folder on Colab. Just click that box. I already have it mounted, so, you know, it already worked. Then you come here, and then first off, under the source underscore image line, you want to change, sorry, you want to change this part so that everything before PNG, because if we kept our images.png, this will work. You want to change it to the file name. So it's truman.png. This line is going to refer to this picture over here, or whatever picture you picked. Just name accordingly and respect the file extensions. If it doesn't work, make sure you didn't delete the uh, period in your file extension. Um, and for the .mp4, I'm going to use the woman underscore smile 2. It's going to refer to this video. It's going to take this video and put it on Truman's face. All the movements from that video. Okay, then I'm going to run this section. It's currently loading uh, the video as well as the source video. Okay, so we're not done yet. We're almost done. We're going to create a model and load checkpoints. So run this box. And then we're going to go to perform image animation. Run this box. Okay, as you can see that the image on the far right or the video on the far right has successfully been made. It took the image on the far left it took the video in the middle and it took that video in the middle and they put it on the image on the far left so it took the video's facial movements to create this new video that we have of Truman uh, smiling <laughs> you know it's essentially what this is it looks cringe but it's essentially the same as this so now we're gonna go to files on the left hand side this little file icon, we're gonna go to sample data. If you click this little file section, um, you'll see that it says generated.np4. That's essentially just this video right here. But yeah, that's the overall process of animating these things. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this was able to help you. Um, and yeah, I'll be doing more of this in the future, so. See you guys.